Shivana. Uh, we are going to see in this video how to create, I mean how to create an action URL and render URL in u.jsp which will call our controller and it will it will write new methods for that. So what we have to do is first let us import this tab library portlight underscore 2 underscore 0 which is provided by java.sim and now what we'll do is if you see here in portlight you can find action URL and render URL. Basically we'll see both. This is render URL and in this render URL we can just pass in your variable like will it be like a render render one and we are gonna call this render URL by passing a portlet param. The param is an action, the value is it will let me give as render one. Let it be the render one URL over here. And now let me call this URL by giving a hashtag and this hashtag should have this render one URL. So now what, what happens is when I'm picking this URL, let me give a text to call So when I'm clicking this render one URL, it should go to my controller and get mapped to this param called render one render one. So let us do one thing. We'll write one more render mapping method over here. Let it be handle render one request. Okay. And in this render request, let us return a different page. For example, render one page. I have created a new render one.jsp and I'm going to return it from here and now let us give hello render one method is getting called we don't need any model attributes let us just call another JS to a different JS here you have to specify the param params and I'm going to give it as action is equal to render 1 because this is what the action if you see here I am giving it as an action and it has a value as render 1 so when action is equal to render 1 it should get called ok and now this will render me a new JSP called render 1.jsp in render 1.jsp what I have done is I have referenced it to a href I mean here I have written, written a render URL without passing any portlet params. Portlet parameter means suppose if you want to pass a param here, we are going to call. What if we don't pass any parameter over here, it will call the default render mapping without any parameter. So what I am doing is, I am writing a render URL and I am just passing it over here. This will redirect me to the main portlet or JSP. And now what else we can do over here is, we can also define an action URL. Because you know, let action URL. So this action URL the same thing. You can just give it as action URL. And here, let us also give an action, and which will have um, URL mapping with action one. And now, we'll also give a href. I mean, we'll give a link for calling this one. Now let this call action method. And now what happens is I have to write a method over here similarly with action mapping. Let me copy this one. Here it is going to be at action mapping. And in action mapping we are going to pass some params. Here the action is equal to action one, which we have specified in u.jsp. Let it be like the render action one request. And here we are going to give action request. And here we are going to give action response. Normally when we do an action mapping, we return it as void. We don't we don't return anything. It's going to be written void. And we'll just show that it is getting called. We don't need any model over here and now we are this is action one request and now what happens is we have an action mapping render mapping and we have this action URL over here 
Now let us deploy this booklet by calling and clean install and maven deploy. Yeah, now the server is up. What we'll do is we'll go here, go to your page, refresh it. See, now we can see we have a method, we have the same JS demo JSP that we have click here to call render method and click here to call action method. Let me click here. When I click here, what happens is if you go to your, uh, uh, we'll just clear this one and we'll see it neatly. Just go back. When I click this call render method, it calls this method called call render one method is getting called. Okay, and now what we'll do is now if I click here, it should go back to the original JSP. And when I call the action method, it just refreshes the same page by just calling this action method. You see here. Can go here and we can see this action one method is getting called and it will also call the render method so uh, this is how it works i mean will we, normally how it works is when we call a view.jsp when render url this render url if you are going to pass a parameter it will search for this parameter mapping and if it is there it will call and it will buy the jsp but when you call an action url it will call the action mapping method and also it will call your basic render mapping without any parameters because that is what the default view is it will just do the action refresh your page by calling this render mapping and it will give you the happiness so this is how an action and render mapping works in um, my frame in next video we can see interpreter communication thank you